Did they even try to go fishing? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 father versus son fights in film. Shut up, Danny. I brought you into this world. I think it's rather fitting I should be the one to take you out of it. For this list, we're looking at rocky father and son relationships, biological or otherwise, that took a turn for the physical. Although a punch might not necessarily have landed, the threat of violence needs to be present. As these confrontations tend to take place in the film's climax, spoilers will be included. Number 10. Prince Mordred vs. King Arthur – Excalibur With Excalibur, filmmaker John Borman did the impossible and convincingly adapted one of the famous legends of all time onto the big screen. After Arthur pulls the sword from the stone, he forms the round table and builds Camelot. Armed with the spear against Arthur's legendary sword, Mordred stabs the King of Camelot through the chest before the favor is swiftly returned. In a film filled with the mystical, the climactic confrontation strips away magic and glory to deliver an almost intimate encounter. Come, father. Let us embrace at last. It's a bloody, brutal, and a memorable conclusion to an epic story. Number 9. Beowulf vs. Dragon – Beowulf Featuring an all-star cast and mind-blowing visuals, director Robert Zemeckis brings us an epic tale of lust and greed. It is beautiful. Changed from the original poem, when Beowulf travels to Denmark, he ends up making a pact with Grendel's mother instead of killing her. If he gives her a son, she'll make him a king. You took a son from me. Give me a son, brave thing. Stay with me. Love me. Many years later, Beowulf's kingdom is attacked by his offspring, which happens to be a dragon. Making good use of the 3D motion capture effects, there is self-mutilation, crumbling bridges, and the beating heart of a massive dragon. What else could anyone want? Number 8. Tobias Toby Wolf vs. Dwight Hansen – This Boy's Life This coming-of-age drama was based on a memoir, and Robert De Niro's character, stepfather Dwight Hansen, feels all too real. Is that right? No, sir. That's a goddamn lie. If there's one thing I can't stomach, it's a liar. When single mother Caroline first meets Dwight, she thinks he offers the chance at a better life for her and her son Toby, played by a young Leonardo DiCaprio. Before too long, however, it becomes obvious that Dwight is far from an ideal partner or role model. Come on, you try it. No. Don't be afraid, no, just try it. It hurt me if I just, do it. Just try it. No. Try it. I'll hurt you if you don't do it now. Come on. Come on, come on! Let's go, God damn it, let's start. Emotionally and verbally abusive, things turn physical when Dwight sees a thrown away bottle of mustard that isn't quite empty and confronts Toby. I Who threw this away? You threw it away? Why? This was empty. Empty? That look empty to you? Looks empty to me. Yeah, it looks empty to me too. Mr. Hot shot. Is it empty? Huh? Is it empty? Dad! No, no. No. Both actors pull off stunning performances as the situation quickly escalates into a full-blown realistic fight. Number 7. Pat Salatano Jr. vs. Pat Salatano Sr. – Silver Linings Playbook We're moving right from one De Niro film to another. Oh. What? Hey. What's this? Hi. Everything good? Mm -hmm. David O. Russell's Oscar-winning comedy drama is full of highlights. One of the best scenes sees the bipolar Pat, played by Bradley Cooper, desperately searching for his wedding videotape while his mom tries to calm him down. I'm not calming down! I don't give a f do you? I'm not calming down! Anybody can wake up! I'm not Dad. ashamed of it! I'm not ashamed Stop of it! it. Let the whole neighborhood wake up! I don't care! Stop it! Stop it! No. Screaming at the top of his lungs and waking up the whole neighborhood, he inadvertently knocks his mother to the ground, forcing his father to step in. Years of frustration are released in a short slap fight, as both men lose control before the police arrive and put an end to it. Number 6. Wesley Gibson vs. Cross – Wanted Want to hear something sad? 
I need an ergonomic keyboard to keep my repetitive stress injury in check. Wesley is a directionless sad sack who ends up working for a super secret assassin's organization. Could happen to any of us, right? He's trained by Morgan Freeman in the art of bullet bending, so he can take down the rogue agent, Cross, who killed Wesley's father. A few cool training sequences and some successful missions later, Cross and Wesley face off in a train. The epic shootout ends with Cross saving Wesley's life, but that doesn't stop him from gunning his opponent down. With his dying breath, Cross reveals he is actually Wesley's real father. What are you, what are you me? Shucks, uh, that info would have been useful a few minutes earlier. Number 5. Fee the Kid Herod vs. John Herod, The Quick and the Dead Man, Leonardo DiCaprio doesn't have much luck with dads. Well, there's plenty of other places in town to buy a gun. Nowhere is cheap. I would know a place that's cheap enough for you. <laughs> you know, your mouth gets faster every day. Pity your hands are so slow. I ain't got slow hands. In this revisionist western from Sam Raimi, Gene Hackman's Herod is a brutal gunslinger turned mayor who stages a quick draw competition to fuel his own ego. One of the contenders is Leo's Fee the Kid Herod, who believes winning the contest will be enough to earn the mayor's respect. Drop out! You've made your point. The gunfight is in the head, not in the hands. The only thing that makes him invincible is because you all think he is. Facing off in the semifinals, Herod asked the kid to pull out but his pleas fall on deaf ears. The actual battle is quick and over before anyone knows what happened, making the long and painful aftermath all that much harder to swallow. Shit, that was fast. Number 4. Troy Maxson vs. Corey Maxson Fences Jealousy can be a powerful emotion, even coming between father and son. Straighten up, goddammit. I asked you a question. What law is there say I got to like you? None. All right, then. Don't you eat every day? A talented baseball player, Troy, was born too soon as the MLB were yet to accept any black players. Years later, Troy's son, Corey, is scouted by a college football team, but his father refuses to sign the permission documents. What you do that for, Pop? What's the matter? Corey, what's the matter? Pop then went up to the school and told Coach Zellman I can't play football no more. Won't even let me play the game. Told him to tell the recruiter not to come. Troy. What you trying me for? Yeah, I did it, and the boy know why I did why it. Why you want to do that to me? That was the one chance I had. Ain't nothing wrong with Corey playing football, Troy. The boy Troy. lied to me. Things come to a head when an intoxicated Troy refuses to step out of the way to allow Corey into their house. Declaring that his father does not matter anymore, Corey tries to protect himself with a bat, but the tables are quickly turned. You want to draw that bat back on me? You're going to have to kill me. Come on. Number three, Pa Cox versus Dewey Cox. Walk Hard, the Dewey Cox story. Dewey Cox's journey to musical superstardom starts off in the way of so many. While playing with his brother Nate, Dewey accidentally chops him in half with a machete. Dewey! Me! I'm... I'm... I'm halved! Pa Cox blames Dewey for Nate's death, saying that the wrong kid died. Once Dewey is famous and relatively successful, however, they reunite and Pa challenges the singer to a machete duel. But there's only one way to settle this. Machetes. What? The right kid is gonna die tonight. <laughs> Learning things the hard way, Pa cuts himself in two and realizes Dewey didn't mean to kill his brother. Heck, it could happen to anyone. Is it silly? Yes, but that doesn't make it any less hilarious. Do I? I guess I never realized until this moment just how easy it is to accidentally cut someone in half. It is, right? I'm sorry for blaming you, Dewey. Number 2. Peter Quill vs. Ego, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Peter Quill thought he struck gold with his daddy Ego, a godlike being capable of creating an entire planet with the power of his mind. 
Reunited after all these years, Eagle believes that together they can shape all of existence into something considerably better. I call it the expansion. It is my purpose. And now, it is yours as well. It's beautiful. And looking at Chris Pratt and Kurt Russell on screen together, it's easy to see how these charmers could go on to do great things. But just as Star-Lord starts to warm up to the idea, Ego mentions that he killed Quill's mother. It broke my heart to put that tumor in her head. What? Oops. Exploding mountains, lightning, and David Hasselhoff. This father and son fight throws everything and the kitchen sink on screen and somehow makes it work. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions that also show some father-son-daddy issues going on. Bruce Banner versus David Banner. Hulk. You, he and me, I'd rather die. Oh, that's your answer. And indeed, you shall die and be reborn. Michael Sullivan Sr. versus John Rooney. Road to Perdition. I'm glad that you... Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Luke Skywalker vs. Darth Vader Star Wars Episode 5 The Empire Strikes Back There is no escape. Don't make me destroy you. Honestly, is anyone all that surprised? The definitive, dysfunctional father and son pair, they delivered two epic fights, with both ending in a dismembered hand. Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough. He told me you killed him. No, I am your father. Although we don't really get to see them interact all that much, Luke and Darth Vader represent two conflicting ideologies, the light and the dark side of the Force. Despite their lightsabers, these duels are won in the heart and mind rather than on the field. No! Their first encounter sees Darth Vader attempt to turn the conflicted Jedi to the dark side. In their rematch, it's Luke who tries to get his dad to see the light. I will not fight you, Father. Unwise to lower your defenses. Both instances are tense, emotional, and iconic. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.